I'm happy to today welcome a welcome to the stage a magician who actually shows how you can use technology to leverage the art of illusion. Marco, you just find yourself as a techno illusionist. New term for me, probably for a lot of people in the audience. Talk a little bit about what that is. Some themes of my work are combining interactive technology like robotics, AI, augmented reality, gestural sensing and adding a little bit of magic. And so in that way, I'm, you could say I'm not limited by available technologies. You actually at one point said that throughout time, people that innovate and inventors have always been seen as magicians, which I thought was interesting. Could you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I think magic is very research intensive. But what happened in magic is that it's very introverted as well. So magicians generally don't like to share their research with a wider world. I try to come up with contraptions, technological contraptions. And then if there is a useful tool, I'd like to share it in, in open source. So in a way, I'm kind of a, an open sorcerer, you could say. <laughs> <laughs> so I brought something with me. It's an experiment we can all try together. I know we have a a remote viewer with us. So I brought with me five virtual playing cards and I have to gesture a little bit to bring them in. And I want you all to remember one of these five cards. Remember the suit and the value of your chosen card. So if you have one, remember it. Don't forget your card. A little bit of gesturing should mix the cards up just like this. And I'm gonna remove one of the five playing cards and uh, maybe I take the one all the way over here. And uh, yeah. And uh, if I was right, then your card is now gone. Hmm. And if it worked, hey, then uh, don't worry about it too much. My card is here too. <laughs> hey, Rich, did that magic work over Skype? Yes. It did. I picked the jack of spades and it's, <laughs> it was gone. <laughs> it's called the Prince's Card Trick, devised by Henry Hardin, the Prince of Ideas, he mm -hmm. called himself. And uh, it uses a psychological principle, so, which only recently has been discovered by scientists. So 100 years ago, magicians played with what we call change blindness, which will give you a hint of uh, what this is all about, uh, long before the phenomenon was being discovered by science. So I think it's an excellent example of how fruitful it could be to combine the secretive art of magician and liberally interface it with uh, other fields of research. Marco, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for the um, conversation. Look forward to talk later in the week. Thanks for um, joining us. John. Thank you, Hamish. No problem. Amen. Um, and thanks to you, to the audience directly who are watching us wherever you are in the world. I hope we sparked some new ideas for you today. We look forward to seeing you. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Hamish. <laughs>